Hello everyone, uh, welcome to God's Untainted Word. I'm just trying to um, find a way where I can get my start menu and my taskbar to disappear while I'm doing this. So, um, yeah, I've just re um, I just thought I'd do this. I'm just going through this book myself at the moment. So um, I felt that you, um, the people that want to listen to this will um, want to follow along on this. Now, as you can see from the picture, the book is called, uh, it's from Derek Prince. Um, I really recommend him as, um, an, an, as an author and as a preacher. Um, he's very biblically sound and he has a lot of um, very good things to say and he's quite truthful and upfront and, he, and he, he doesn't play around, which is really good. But sometimes he's, he's really humbled also. So um, this one here, obviously, as you can see, it's called God's Medicine Bottle. Now, when I first heard this, I thought, God's Medicine Bottle sounds weird, but um, no, it's not. It's, it's actually really, really awesome. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each chapter of this book with a separate video, and it's going to be a playlist on God's Medicine Bottle. That's what the playlist will be called. And it's a reference to a Steric Prince study on this book. Because I think this is a really, really good book to, to get some spiritual um, awareness of how to hear God's word and all of that. So, um, yeah, so welcome to God's Untainted Word. Um, as you probably know now, I'm Chris. And um, I hope that you um, allow yourself to be um, able to hear what I say. But this is more so coming from Derek. But then again, sorry about the noise. Um, it's actually coming from the Holy Spirit, above all. So, let's get into it. So... Chapter 1 is called Take as Directed. Now what I'm going to do is just read through this um, and when the scriptures come up, I'll have the scriptures come on the screen. We can go over them together um, as the book goes through. But I'll just read the introduction. So this is going to be the introduction. This is what um, Derek Prince had was led to write. He, he led to write this book after a situation that he went through and this is the situation we'll go through so i'll read it i'll read the intro um and all of that and then we will go we'll go into each because there's four steps in the book so we'll go through each there's four more uh, four other chapters that um we'll go through each step um and then we'll go yeah we'll go through each step and then after that um there's a closing prayer there's some study questions and answers um, I can go through some books later on if you want to um, know some other books of Derek Prince um, that might might help or ones that I have here that I've read. So, um, but for now this is the main this is the main one. We'll go through um, chapter one now, um, and then we'll go through the four steps that he has here, and then we'll do a closing prayer, which we will probably just uh, either do his closing prayer or we could do his one and add to it. Um, and then we'll go into some other ones and maybe some questions and answers and see what we go on. But each each video will be short enough to go through each one. So it'll be a study, study um, it'll be a study on, on God's medicine bottle. So for everyone that doesn't know, that's Derek Prince there. Uh, it's just a photo I found online. Um, yeah, so he died in, I think he died in 2003, I believe. Um, yeah, I think he died in 2003, I think. Um, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure he did. So, but he's been going for a while. He's got his own, he had his own ministry, Derek Prince Ministries. So, anyway, let's get into it. So, chapter one, take as directed. As I said, this is an introduction to how, what, what gave him the, um, inspiration to write this book. From my own experience, I will share with you how I discovered this wonderful medicine bottle of God. I learned about this great blessing during the early years of World War II. So we'll go back to that. Because I'm British, I served in the British Army as a medical orderly, uh, what Americans call a hospital attendant, with the British Medical Services for five and a half years during World War II. For the first three years of duty, I was stationed in the deserts of North Africa, first in Egypt, then in Libya, uh, Libya, yeah, and finally in Sudan. In the desert, there were two things that were exposed to, we were exposed to more than anything else: sand and sun. I spent nearly one entire year in the desert without ever seeing a paved road. 
we traveled in sand, we slept in sand, and very often we had impre- the impression that we were eating sand. We were exposed to it day and night. Combined with the sun, it had a very harmful effect on the skin of certain people whose skin was not adequate for that kind of exposure, and I was one of them. It manifested itself primarily in the condition of my feet and my hands, where the skin broke down. I was in many ways incap- incapacitated. The officer in command of my particular unit struggled to keep me from being admitted to hospital because he knew if I was admitted, he would lose me in the unit. Consequently, I spent out uh, several months hobbling around trying to do my military duties, but in the end, he had to let me go into the hospital. I went to three or four different medical hospitals and I was in a hospital for a year. During that time, I met soldiers there who had been two years in the Middle East and spent 18 months in hospital with similar conditions. I I received many elaborate diagnoses uh, of my problem and each name tended to be a little longer than the previous name. Eventually it was diagnosed simply as chronic eczema and I received the best medical treatment available, which really did not help me. I saw many other soldiers with similar conditions who also were not helped. Those were, uh, those with really serious conditions, burns and so on, were usually shipped to South Africa. But my condition was not that serious and my, my services to the British Army were not so valuable that they were going to waste the package, uh, passage on a ship to South Africa for me. So I just lay there in bed day after day, wondering what future would be, what my future would be. I can tell you, when you spend a year on end in hospital, it seems a very, very long time. I had nearly come into a real personal relationship with the Lord, had been born again and received the filling of the Holy Spirit, but I was very, very ignorant, not having any background of Bible knowledge. I had a Bible, but I was really, but I really had nowhere else to turn for help that, uh, than to God and the Bible. I began to search the Bible in desperation to see what I could, what it could tell me about my physical condition. I had no theories about healing. I just knew I needed it. I had the Bible and plenty of time to read it, there uh, there being very close, uh, very little else to do. So I searched the Bible for something that would show me if I could really trust God for the healing of my body. One day, I came across some verses in the Bible of Proverbs, which I learned to call God's medicine bottle. I will quote from the King James Version, which was a, a version that I was reading in those days and which was extremely vivid and forceful. Proverbs 4, 20, 22. Let's go to that. There it is there for you guys. My son, attend to my words, incline thine ear unto my understanding, uh, to my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart, for they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. It was that last fl- uh, phrase that arrested, uh, arrested me health to all their flesh. I understood that all their flesh meant their total physical body, which is a more modern version translates here. And I thought health. If I have health in my whole body, there's no room for sickness. And that's what God is promising me. Then I happened to look in the margin and saw that the alternative translation of the word health was medicine. That seemed to be more appropriate for my condition. God was promising me something that would be a medicine, would be medicine, which would be health to all my flesh. I thought to myself, that's precisely what I need. So I went back and read these words over and over again, and I saw that in essence, God's offer had been made to me through His words. Verse twenty says, "Attend to my words, incline thy ear, thine ear unto my sayings." Then verse twenty-two says. For they, God's words and God's sayings, are life to those that find them and health to all their flesh. So whatever it may be, it was in the words and the sayings of God. Then I saw the phrase, to those that find them. And I saw it was more than just reading the Bible. It was reading the Bible in such a way as to find out how to receive what God was offering. I I received all the medical attention that was available in those conditions. But it had not helped me, so I made a decision, a very naive decision in a way. I decided I was going to take God's word uh, as my medicine. 
this is a very crucial decision in my life. When I, uh, when I made that decision, the Lord himself spoke to me, not audibly, but very clearly, and said, when the doctor gives a person medicine, the directions for taking it are on the bottle. Then he said, this is my medicine bottle, and the directions are on the bottle. You'd better study them. God reminded me that the doctor does not promise any benefit from the medicine he recommends unless it is taken according to the directions. And being a medical orderly, that was very vivid to me. I then decided to study the directions on the bottle and I saw very quickly that there were four specific directions for taking God's word as medicine in the physical body. These are the directions. Attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. I realized that if I was going to receive the benefit I needed from the medicine, those were the four directions I had to follow. I cannot go into detail into all that followed, but I began to bow my head over the Bible three times every day after meals, because that is how people normally take medicine. I said, God, you've said that these words of yours will be the medicine to all of my flesh, and I'm taking them as my medicine now in the name of Jesus. Within a few months, God's medicine taken that way achieved the result God promised. I was totally healthy in every area of my body. I recorded this experience on a tape a good many years ago, just recently in London, England. I met a young man from Pakistan who told me that he had become a Christian and that he had suffered for more than 20 years from eczema. One day he had heard my tape and decided to do what I had done. In his case, within two or three days he was completely healed. So that, the, so that is an up-to-date testimony that the medicine still does that for which it is claimed. I now want to share with you the lessons I learned about the directions that was on God's medicine bottle and how to apply them. So that's uh, verse, that's chapter one. Um, so as as we covered the four steps of attend to my words, um, incline thine ear unto my sayings, let them not depart from thine eyes, keep them in the midst of thine heart. So there's going to be two, three, four, and five, I believe. I'll just go and check, to make sure. Two, three, four, and five. Yep, so we've got four lessons after this that are going to go through each chapter, and they're going to be, he's going to speak on each of those four, um, those four uh, instructions, as he put it. So I'm going to do another video for that, but um, I hope these videos are not too long, not too uh, elongated. I want them to just speak um, to the point right front and do that, and I'll just have pictures like this come up. Um, with the verses that he goes through um, and all of that and hopefully we can get into it a bit more so yeah I, I, I've read this first and second chapter and I'm feeling really fulfilled by it already I rec and really recognizing that I'm going to learn something so after verse uh, chap chapter 2 of this book um, you and me will be doing them together because I haven't, I haven't read chapter 3 so I'll leave it at that and i won't read it again till i do chapter two so thank you everyone um and yeah uh hopefully you guys stick around and 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 check this stuff out um you know and see see if you get anything out of it i mean the, it won't be for everyone but it's it's definitely going to help a few people especially if you're coming uh you're struggling with some medical conditions um and that sort of thing i'm hoping that this can really reach out and touch somebody so i thank you and i appreciate that that you guys just listen and take care and, and do what you got to do to uh, continue to seek God and, and His Word and, and be diligent and fervent in prayer. Thank you, everyone. I love you all in mighty, the mighty, mighty name of Jesus Christ.